All right, welcome back, guys. We have here a massive game coming. We are upper bracket finals for the Cy Storm 2010 event, brought to us by cybergaming.com.au and Western Digital and the Velocity after Hard Drive Series. $5,000 on the line in the entire tournament, $1,750 for first place, and we are very lucky to have a rematch of the Blizzard Invitational here, Glade versus Oxygen on Delta Quadrant. This was even their first map in Blizzard Invitational, so this is going to be huge. I am Unstable, joined here by Toby One. Oh, man, I can't wait to see this match unfold. What about you? Mate, I'm looking forward to seeing Glade being pushed here by Oxygen. We just saw him before playing as Terran, and uh, I, I think if, if we can have people take him to take him to the next, you, you said you, you were saying this is the uh, this was their first match. What happened in their first match when they played on this one? Was it was it a defense game by Glade? It pretty much was a constant defense game by Glade. He uh, was taken pretty much. There were proxy racks in the base. There were bunkers everywhere. There were SCVs being pulled in <laughs> two minutes. It was. <laughs> Pretty much the most aggressive TVZ I have ever seen. And it looks like we might be seeing the same again for Oxygen. I hope we see something. But really, I want to see it. Oh, can't wait. I just want to skip five minutes of the game. If we can get over this uh, early build. <laughs> We do say yeah, no, 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 no. We, 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 we want to watch this. We want to watch because it's the Glade drone. There is nothing as famous as the Glade drone. <laughs> yeah, definitely. In a Glade versus Kinetic, there was a game where it's literally this one scout drone. Oh, my God, he's gotten stuck. No, no, he hasn't. That was, that was a gap. It's bad ass. It's just blocking it. So we did, yeah, we did have an MVP drone in a Glade versus Kinetic game earlier in this tournament where literally if that one drone hadn't lived, like the extra 10 seconds that it did, the game would have been completely different. But, Let's go for the gas steal. Nice, he got the gas steal off. That is extremely yeah. fast gas. Steal. Yeah. Five oh. HP on the drone. Five HP <laughs> on the drone and get the extractor up. Yeah, nicely done there. But I'm pretty sure that, ex that extractor or refinery for oxygen went down before the... the the uh, barracks there. Oh my god, Glade going for the hatch before pull. That is extremely risky versus Oxygen. It's, it's only just going to get spotted now, too. Oxygen running the SCV past it. It's the fourth place Oxygen had to check, so Glade gets revealed just at the last point, but that hatchery did come up, and, uh, well, we were wondering last time when, um, well, Glade actually completed the extractor, too. He didn't actually, like, du double it up. Um, the way it actually goes, Oxygen, he's going this back. He's going this factory barracks build again. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you there, uh, Toby, but he, Glade did actually pull two drones at the front, and he's got this drone constantly chasing the SCV because he does not want a freaking bunker in his face. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like, uh, uh, looks like Oxygen forced to pull back, so we might be seeing a more standard game. I'm uh, surprised. Factory down for, for uh, Oxygen. No, Hellion drops ink, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's exactly what he, he, he's done it twice already so far. It's, may, may as well make it a trifecta and go for the third. But uh, I just... I don't, I don't know, Oxygen with that early ex with that um, early expansion coming out from Glade, you don't want to give Glade resources. And Glade going, he's already gone defensive. Even though he's got four links out, spine crawler right in the front side, he's already predicting the Hellions. Yeah, that is good play by Glade. But he doesn't have a, uh, a spine crawler. It's, he does want to have one in the main, but it's no, really nowhere near the drone line. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't get caught to one away. But here we go, the links coming up. They are going to catch. They could probably get through that, um, that bunker with that. That a supply depot with anything coming out. The Marine is still trying to take out this extractor. Finally does get that extractor down. But hey, that's going to be decent. Hellion's out now, so here we go. Is Oxygen just going to destroy the drone line just like he did to Azro? Let's Two Queens blocking the ramp. Two Queens blocking the ramp. Those Hellions are not going to get themselves in. Perfect positioning from Glade. He's going to get those links back in a little bit further. And uh, oh, the Hellions. Pull the line back up. The second spine crawl is not done. The drones have to come up high, and uh, the queens are thinking about coming on down, and they will. They will almost claim the second heli, and they claim one. Um, but I think we did actually lose three units. Five five units in total being lost by Glade, but three just lost then. Yeah, that was a nice control by Glade there. He's got that spine crawler near the ramp now to stop him coming up there as well. Returning his queens to where Factory. He Factory in the west. Yep. We do have a factory in over here. He's getting a tech lab. So it looks like he wants to get some tanks right here in that little concave. He wants to abuse tanks, as many Terrans do, and he will be able to hit that hatchery from that range, I believe. So that is going to be very frustrating for Glade if he gets that in line. So <clears throat> we'll, well, we'll really want to see how Oxygen deals with this. Uh, but he's getting a second barracks in his main. Glade getting nothing at the moment on their unit production. Now we have six drones on the way. So Glade taking this opportunity to drone up pretty hard. He has not seen this proxy factory, though. This could turn out to hurt him. He's getting siege research and a siege tank as he comes out with Hellions and Marines. He, he can see it. He, can, can he see it? No, he can't. The overlord's just a little bit off. Oh, <laughs> God. So, oh, oh, that is like 
less than one range difference. Here we go, we got Hellions coming into the main. Does see that block off by the spine crawlers there, so they're not going to go anywhere. But really, oh, it's going to be very close to see if Gaze Glade can uh, handle this. Roach is coming out now to help deal with these with these things as well. Nice, nice unit choice by Glade. Lots more Roaches coming, but the Siege Research is almost done. He's got one tank out going. I think he's trying to hide it up in the middle of the map there. He's, uh, but the Overlord, the Overlord's going to spot it. Actually, no, the Overlord was just out of range of it. Didn't actually spot the Siege Tank moving past. And the uh, and because the, the Overlord went straight up north, uh, it didn't actually show the uh, Overlord sitting down the south of that barracks. It's like, it's like the perfect, perfect position. It's <laughs> straight between the needle eye. <laughs> Yeah, very lucky there by Oxygen. He's getting his second tank out now. Looks like he's not going to uh, come and abuse this just yet. I think he just wanted to... Oh, there we go. There's the Overlord. Oh, he does see a tank. Hopefully Glade has a sharp... Roach is on the way. Oh, more Roaches on the way to Anling. So he's getting a nice mix here. He does not have a Bane in this, though, for Glade. It is down now, just then. So hopefully he can get the Bane out in time. But looks like we got a push here coming from Oxygen. Tanks up in the road. Creeping forward here. Ooh, no, he's not looking good for Glade at all right now. Oh, it's going to be close. Nope. Yeah, Gl Gl Glade's in a lot of trouble. That spine controller is just out of range of that siege tank, which is in range of him. The uh, the rogue is focus firing down as much as they can on those uh, on those hellions as well as the siege tanks. Now they're going straight for the siege tanks. Two siege tanks already taken a fall. He's trying to move the spine crawlers up a little bit further here for Glade so they can actually do something. One siege tank coming in a little bit way too close there to the spine crawler who got one hit off back there. Roach is fantastic control at the moment. Managed to bring down one more of those siege tanks. That's a that's a big big loss is actually coming out. For, for our for our Terran Oxygen, who is trying to pressure it on here, but uh, when that with that first expansion, the Glade already had pumping up. You, you were commenting before how many drones he actually had. He's got his income massively above. It's uh, just above a thousand. He's, he's about three hundred ahead here of Oxygen, so he can afford to actually lose units like that um, as long as he can hold onto that expansion comfortably. Yeah, absolutely. That was great defense by Glade, knowing when to pull his his queens, targeting the tanks down first. And then targeting the, <clears throat> the Marauder as well, bringing his spine crawlers up to get the extra damage. But here we go. Looks like Oxygen is going to try this again. He do Glade does see this, though, because they are slightly on the creep. More Banelings coming in now. Do we have Baneling speed yet? No. Overlord spots the, Overlord spots the factory. <laughs> it finally does see the factory. Nicely done. That's going to answer a lot of questions there from Glade. Glade sending about five or six links just to take it out. Oxygen was building a tank from it, but he's cancelled it. So nice job there. Uh, we are still nowhere near Lair Tank. The Glade. He's const he's still on tier one. Interesting. He is. He hasn't, he hasn't moved up at the moment. He's still pumping up a massive, massive Roach Army. Bailing's about to come up. This could wipe out the Marine Army. The Marauder takes most of the damage from that one, losing off to the Siege Tanks. They're just falling themselves back. It's like leapfrogging themselves from Siege Tank to Siege Tank. And Oxygen has to retreat his army. He's only got five Marines and three Marauders. That is his, that is his complete army at the moment, going up against nine Roaches and 11 Lings. There is no way he could have won that one. Oxygen now flying that factory back to his main base. He wants to make the most of that one, not just use it for the scout. And, uh, well, Glade, he does have to switch himself across. He needs to get himself up to the next level, which is what is exactly what he's done. The hatchery is now morphing itself. Yeah, really, this is the scary point for Oxygen because Glade is such a strong, mechanically known player. Uh, this is the time where you do not want Glade to get past. <laughs> Once he gets this far, it is very dangerous. The expansion coming down for Oxygen. He's pushing. He's pushing. Glades on the front lines. The Roaches are going to come on in. The Bailings, how much damage can they do to that Marauder army? The Marauders, fantastic focus firing here by Oxygen, trying to bring them down. Still haven't seen the Bailing even pop just yet. They're running straight into the base. The supply depot was actually dropped, so the Roaches are right inside the base now. The Bailing is still forced back here. There is very little units left for this army. All the SCVs trying to come out. There's one Marine and one Marauder. Is literally the army of Oxygen right now. Makes that actually still the same. Roach is still on the fall, but there's five of them in that main base just completely demolished that line and uh, they went for the SCVs first now they can go for that Marauder Marines still coming out as well but there's not many there one siege tank is to come up and that should take care of those roaches inside the main base that very very crippling there for Oxygen yeah if we have a look there we are down to 15 officers versus 37 for Oxygen and, and uh, Moonglade but Moonglade getting links into the pro uh, the, the SCV line of Oxygen oh. Natural, that is insane. This is going to be GG any second. He is so far behind economically. He's down to eight workers versus the 37 of Glade. Glade is getting a spire now. He isn't even caring about an extra a third base. He wants to finish this right now. This is going to be GG as soon as uh, Glade decides to uh, control group one, a move into the main base of Oxygen right now. 
I, I just can't believe the fact that Oxygen left that supply depot down, allowing the Roaches access to his main mineral line. It was like it was, it was almost like suicide for himself right then. And uh, now he's he's forced to actually pull his uh, orbital command out, still trying to produce the SCV. So he dr he dropped down his orbital command center for just a little bit while those Marauders try and bring down those destructible rocks, but. There is more than enough failings from here from Glade to make a very, very large dint on that front line and get those things straight back into that production line. And if that goes down again, oxygen will be crippled beyond repair. Yeah, absolutely. The, the supply depot at the front is going to be very susceptible to the main wind farm stuff. Glade, here we go. I see some movement clicks near that ramp. Uh, it is 82 supply versus 31. So this Bailings is up. Bailings up. Factory almost down. They just pummel through the cheap, the weakest point, which was the reactor. The siege tank is there. Is now going to get engulfed around, and uh, Roaches to come down and bring it down. The bailings go straight for the mineral line. Oh, almost it's every SCV goes down, and the GG call comes out. That is one way to destroy a mineral line. <laughs> Glad to be one up in this match. Nicely done. He's going to be feeling very happy with that. <laughs> oh, that's. That's nasty. That is absolutely nasty. But precision from those bailings, even though they're, they're running so slow, so damn slow to get themselves across. They no upgrade on the speed, but oh, still got themselves through. I just love the focus fire of Glade going, no, who, who cares about taking out the factory or anything like that? You know what we're going to aim for? We'll just aim for that little, small, little reactor and just pummel our way through there. Mm, definitely.